legislation. Thank you. Yeah. Dennis O'Rourke. Mr Speaker, it's really good, it's really good to see the government actually doing something useful in this term of <laughs> parliament. And uh, this is that thing. And uh, what, a wonderful, what a wonderful piece of uh, legislation it is. And uh, for that reason, most uncharacteristically, New Zealand First is going to be able to continue to support, to support the bill. So that's, that's, I think, really good. Really good to be able to do that. And it's good to see actually a process for repealing redundant acts because they actually they do get outdated and I totally disagree with the last speaker about that. This is the right kind of process to get rid of a lot of very small, often totally outdated, com completely uh, irrelevant uh, in this day and age pieces of legislation and I don't have any problem with using a statutes repeal process to do that. After all, it has been uh, through the uh, select committee process, there have been submissions. It's been well and properly considered. I see no problem. And actually, it can be dangerous to leave redundant statutes on the statute book because you can have situations where the police feel obliged to actually enforce them. And uh, the blasphemy law would be one of those, and it's only good fortune that nobody's actually recently, or in fact ever, I think, uh, been prosecuted under that piece of legislation. It should have been um, removed by, by this process. And other law latent acts, as we know them, um, actually never get activated because they shouldn't be. And one of those is the, is the provision for the Sentencing Council and the Sentencing Act. I'm glad to see it go. It should never have been enacted in the first place. It impinged on the job of the courts. It would inevitably if it had been used, have led to political interference in the sentencing system. And that's a very bad thing for the, for the justice system and for New Zealand. Uh, I don't accept that there is necessar necessarily anything wrong with what is called the disparity between sentences between Maori and others, because we actually have no evidence whatsoever that that's the result of ra in inherent racism within the justice system. It may actually just be a fact that emerges without any particular reason at all, except maybe more Maori actually uh, carry out more serious offences than Pākehā on average. Who knows? It may well have been the other way around, but it just happens to be that way this time. I don't accept there's necessarily any racism about that whatsoever. And this council, in any event, would never have made any difference to that situation, even if that had been the case. So I'm very glad, as I've said, for this stupid sentencing council uh, and the act and the and the legislative provision in the sentencing act to go. It should have gone. It should never have happened in the first place. It's never been activated, and, and neither it should have been. I hope we never see it again. So for those reasons, uh, Mr. Speaker, we in New Zealand First are perfectly satisfied with this bill. And, and uh, we, we know that the, the select committee process has done a good job in looking at it. It's come through that process. It's, it's quite clear that those enactments which are going to be repealed should be repealed. And for that reason, that totally objective reason only, New Zealand First will continue to support it. I call Reno Tirukatan. <coughs> Oh, thank you, Mr Chair. I'm uh, pleased to speak in the third reading of this statute.